Hey guys, so I'm on the Navisworks forums, the Autodesk one, and uh, there was a question on exports or the viewport viewpoint exports. And if we scroll down here a bit, you can see the question itself. So all it's asking pretty much is that what they see here is not what the report is dumping out, and that's hard to say because. I'm not sure where the viewpoint specific settings are to 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 change the way um, that it's looking at the image within Navisworks, but I did find that you can at least the other way around um, identify those things. So if we switch back or jump into Navisworks, we can kind of take a look at that. So you can see that I've changed our view it's set to 512 by 512 which is what it will dump out in that report the HTML report you'll see a 5 by 12 image associated with it and to kind of give you an idea I've saved the images here so um, which you'll got you'll you'll have as well so I'll go in here and I'll just open up the report or the uh, image of both of them so this one's the HTML export which you'll see and then this is the a snippet of the uh, view within Navisworks so if we close that what I'll do is I'll actually also create the HTML so that you guys can actually take a look at that because that's what the actual output will be so I'll save it and then what we can do is quickly take a look at that and this will give you an idea of kind of what that report looks at looks like so here is a viewpoint report and what's nice with this is now this is just a generic view but if you're creating views because uh, you have a name uh, up top so you can kind of organize this stuff but if you have a good folder structure in place in a naming structure for your clashes because you can run a clash report and then dump out viewpoints and then you can dump those out as uh, a report so and you can also do that within the clash detective window as well but this is another way if you have a combination of things you want to export uh, but that's kind of nice to know you at least have that option I don't use it but definitely if it's something uh, it's definitely something you would have to do if you don't have a whole bunch of Navisworks managed licenses and you only have simulate so with that said you can kinda of see what this image looks like and if we actually go to the actual report we can see that this looks exactly the same um, you can kinda of see it down there in the bottom at the same time but you can see they are the same so it does allow you to at least you know get an idea of what you're actually looking at and this is also good to know when you're creating videos as well so in there you would actually uh, change it to I think half of 1080 or yeah 1920 by 1080 you would just do half of that and it would give you an idea of what your view is so I could be wrong on the, that I can't remember but do keep that in mind when you're making your animations because you know same with this with their issue out on the uh, Autodesk forum of having the view within Navisworks be different in the report you would want the same to be in animations that what you're looking in, at within Navisworks is what's going to be in the actual export of the uh, animation itself now to change this setting all you would have to do is go to your view tab over here is a windows tab or window size button click on that and you can change it to whatever uh, up here if you just change it to use view it'll just be the default uh, view that you would see when you open up Navisworks but if you come down here and change it to explicit you can press OK and then you can see that it changes in size 512 again is the Re image in the report so that's the size of that image 
And essentially all I'm doing is I'm, I'm matching it in here. Now, is that addressing his issue? Um, I'm not entirely sure if, if it is or not. I know that they want to have, uh, so, you know, here it says it's not the same size as displayed in Navisworks. Now, in my opinion, I would rather at least look at this for the most part and have that as the export. But since they are different in sizes, you know, um, you get that as an output and changing it to be the same as this. You know, it definitely l limits your view. So it's hard to say if that truly addresses their their issue. But if anything, um, it shows kind of how to match that up so that they can create that. I don't know if there's another option to actually change what this viewpoint uh, report is creating. How you know what the image size is. Uh, I'd love to know if there is a way to change that. That would be um, definitely helpful. But hopefully this helped you guys out in case you were having somewhat of the same issues. Uh, kind of, again, to reiterate it, um, you know, along with viewpoints, kind of get an idea of what you're actually creating when you will run a report. Uh, you can do the same thing with animations as well. You just reconfigure your screen. And then it's always nice to do uh, some exports of the animations just to get an idea that it's matching correctly and then from there when you're creating your video you would just have your screen configured correctly to what it's actually going to be exported as and then you could easily you know understand what you'll be seeing within that view and you won't be accidentally clipping things out uh, which could easily be done if you were um, if your view was set to the default use view um, because in an animation this isn't necessarily all going to be exported also, on another note, since uh, viewpoints, uh, if you don't want this grid um, information down here, I think we can access it through here. Um, and I, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna resume that. It was, um, it wasn't in, the, or it may be in the settings, but I didn't look in there. I did remember that it was a button out here, so. If you go to your HUD, you can actually turn off that grid in case you don't want that in your viewpoints when you dump that out. Um, you also have some other options in here as well. So, and this could kind of help you if you're uh, fly going through a model. You can kind of see, you know, the different areas you're entering and stuff. If you've created an animation that way, you can also, um, you know, have that information on there for when you're resolving clashes and stuff. So it's just good to know that you can turn those things off. You can make a, you know, better views or a better animation that's a little bit more cleaner. So uh, hopefully this helps somebody out there. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Definitely reach out and I'll see you in the next video.